Last time on Chasing Dallas. Well, y'all know I'm definitely gonna be the hostess with the mostest in New Orleans. I'm excited. <laughs> no, la baby. Well, girl, Except speaking the... of the trip, I've been kind of up and down on actually going just because I don't personally feel like it's a safe environment down there for trans girls. My second thought, you know, that little voice that whispers to you in the back of your head had said, bitch, don't go. I'm here, I'm Wait, here. is Antonio coming? <laughs> I ain't invite her. She already is coming to this group. It's new people in the group that she don't know. Right. You know when you send a, a message on Instagram, you know when somebody unsends the message. Right. It says it. Well, this girl says she's trying to press charges on whom I don't know. They jumped me. It was what it was. But I was tripping out like, nigga, this nigga called me on three ways. I guess him being a straight man, He's not sure, or he's not familiar with how the games work. So Reese sent me a text message that he wanted to link up and just do, uh, just to catch up, because you know, I've missed a couple events. It's Reese G, not Cardi B, but I still get some money. Oh, okay. And make sure you follow me on all social media outlets, at Reese G, that's R-E-S-S-I-E. -S 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 -E. Who are you most embarrassed to admit that you have had a secret crush on, either currently or recently? So there's a guy, his name is Trey. Dropping names, we don't ever <laughs> drop names. Very shocked, y'all. He said Trey Womack. Uh, I, I never thought about it, okay? Everybody, it's Reese G, not Cardi, but I still get some money. Oh, okay. And I am here finna take a shot with this one and them too. Oh, okay? Mm -hmm. At the end of now, ho. Show. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let's take a shot. Oh, yeah. Show. Baby, listen, we're going to New Orleans for the weekend, y'all. I am so stoked. I always have a good time in New Orleans. Me and my bros go. And when I tell you the weekends are always like lit and uh, intoxicated. I need your Now listen, I had never been to New Orleans. I done heard so much good stuff about New Orleans. I heard about the food, the drinks, the liqueur, the, the streets. I'm expecting like, everything. Um, I drive down there because when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. It wasn't that far to drive anyway. What's good? <laughs> I'm so excited for this New Orleans trip, y'all. It's a little weekend getaway. Uh, alcohol, booze, and boys. Yeah. She's shaking that. Girl has touched down on French soil, honey. The Georgia peach and French soil. Let's see what it's gonna be given. New Orleans, baby. When I tell y'all I am so excited to touch down on this Creole soil. Honey, I may be from the Georgia clay, but I heard that this Cree all soul don't play, okay? My little trip, y'all know I'm cheap. So what I did was I found me a $16 flight from Austin to NOLA, but before the end, I took me a Greyhound for $20 to Austin. Don't judge me. Listen, I'm funding something else. I'm funding my dreams here. So I finally, I finally get to the Airbnb and it's, it's okay. And I go ahead and go to the grocery store because I am finna teach these girls what real Southern cooking is all about. I might not have had no potato salad at the weenie roast and the Wheaties may have been burnt, 
But when I tell y'all I'm finna throw down in this kitchen like it ain't nobody business, baby. Hopefully I get me a man out of this. I decided as I was walking through Walmart that I'm gonna cook my famous collard greens, some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna fry some pork chop. I was gonna smother the pork chop, but I was like, you know what? Let me get these boys some real food. So I smothered, I just fried the pork chop, doing some red beans and rice. Red beans, rice, okay? Atlanta style, not that way. And of course, you gotta have some cornbread with it. So. Let's see if these girls eat this up or not. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. Let's see. Hey, what's going on? I felt your spirit. Did you feel it? I felt your spirit. Spirit, hey. So, you know, we get to New Orleans. We're a little late because we had little car problems, okay? With the trunk, with the rental, okay? So, as you know, we had car issues. Well, not car issues. We had an issue with the trunk. So, we had to stop. So Reese invites us to her Airbnb for dinner, okay? And so now, me and my little $2.50, I'm right off of bourbon. You know, Reese is about 25 minutes outside the city. But that ain't none of my business. So you know, me and my good friend, we going over to Miss Reese G Airbnb. And we have a good time. We I'm came a long out, ranger. We came out of an alley, and I was like, I'm a long I was ranger. I'm a long, place. I'm a long ranger. Okay. This is a two bedroom rental. I'll tell you, the Uber guy was like, oh. And when Uber said, oh, we were like, oh, oh. Security. Okay. 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 We good. So, we good. Oh, we're um, cooked. Huh? Huh? So everybody is starting to arrive and George and his friend get there first. And George is ready to eat. One thing about George that I do like, I may not like everything, but I love a man that likes to eat. Cause it make a woman feel good when you eat they cooking. And so it makes me feel even more southern whenever a man wants to eat my cooking. We got Listen, okay, our day was so fucked up on so many levels. What right? happened? So first we get the rental. We uh -huh. get to Shreveport. My allergies are like all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. So we go in the trunk to get some allergy medicine. Mm -hmm. And then the damn trunk won't close. Just won't close. Just would not close. So we was at the station. Yeah, it was the last So we were at the service station forever. In your car? No. A rental. We rented a car. So we got here like later. So, so tell me T. So Markel, Carrie. Markel, Carrie, Trey. Trey. Kane's flight was actually delayed, and he, they said that another flight won't be flying out until um, Sunday. Oh, it was with Spirit, goddamn. Spirit talking through airlines, okay? I just went home and laid on my fucking couch because I'm like, what the fuck? The next flight wasn't leaving until Sunday at 2. The trip would be over by then. You know, there was literally nothing I could do but read them hoes and get my coins back and go home. So he's not going to be able to come. Um, New York, she's not coming because her family decided um, on her behalf that she wasn't coming. Oh. So, you know, everything happened with the fight. Yes. Right? I hate that it happened to both parties. I hate that it happened, but yeah. I mean, it happened. Yeah. Life happens, shit happens. I mean, it was just what it was and what it's gonna be. He feels like it was a setup. Who? Dior. Oh. He feels like the fight was a setup. First of all, don't say that because I don't, I don't, I don't need to set nobody up for no situation. You had total control over the situation. You could have very much diffused the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, yeah. Thank you. you have a straw? Yes, No. Girl. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Correct. Oh. What was that? No, you probably ran up like we did. <laughs> Who is it? Me. Girl. Hello. Hello. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. All right, so Reese reaches out, he cooks, he want everybody to come over, eat some Sunday, it ain't Sunday, I don't know what day this is, but come and cook and come and eat, all hit festivities, you know, he wants to be Mother Teresa, so I'm down, come over there. I'm there, Carrie's there, George is there, Carrie's friends, George's friends, um, 
That's it. Hello. So this weekend we're taking a weekend trip to New Orleans and it's a group trip. Oh wait, it's not a group trip, it's like a, a handful of trips. <laughs> Couple people. <laughs> So everybody gets there and they're eating and George has had about three plates by now and you know he I'm surprised that he I'm, well I'm not surprised that everybody likes my cooking but it's good to just kind of have like a nice calm no drama yet filled evening after I done had these girls drinking this hunch punch that I made on top of this good 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 food when we hit Bourbon Street Bourbon Street we don't know what's gonna happen. So, what trade for? What do you think about the food? The food is good. Like, I'm trying to eat it. You eat mashed potatoes. It tastes like chocolate. I thought this was the chocolate. Chocolate. What do you think? Nothing. Nothing. They here talking about Bible study stuff Sunday. So, the food was amazing. Now, listen, I can tell you I was very much surprised. You know, can't keep the same friends. But that girl can cook down, okay? I, and, and, you know, I'll be honest to tell you, I probably ate like three bowls of them greens. Now, I don't know what she did and what she put in them, but they were good. I was very impressed. You know, I would I would hire for an event. What y'all with, Frank? He asked what kind of hot sauce is that? A Fiesta Crystal. Crystal? Yeah. Crystal. 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 So let me ask Trey. You Trey, did you go in for a windmill the windmill swing first? I don't remember. I just remember some. You motherfuckers don't remember shit when it would come down to Pacific. So what happened was for what? We all came. We all came. I mean, I remember it now. So everybody's supposed to be in pajamas. That's the dress code. That's the attire everybody was wearing. This little dude would ever show up in boxing attire with gloves, boxing all this shit. Knowing that y'all don't like each other, you don't think that's gonna like provoke you and say, "Oh, bitch, you came here to do something." No, no really, no. friend, because that's probably what he's sleeping. Bullshit. Bullshit. Hold on. Hold on. Now, mind you, I thought I was in a good place. Everybody on the, uh, everybody up here. That fit wrong, home girl. That's what he's saying. Playing with a body. Well, listen. Oh. No, so, like, so about this fight, so what happened? Because I know that one kid, he did call you half the green leaf, though. You do look like this. <laughs> listen, oh, I see it. Listen, listen, I ain't doing your name. Listen, I'm a bishop. Listen, listen, let me be very, very clear, okay? So some people, and I'm happy y'all went to. I don't watch that. So some I'm, people, you, have to, a you really have to look at the source, right? And when you have a business mind like myself, like some stuff you just don't entertain. We talking about a girl that, so as we sitting around just drinking, talking, reading each other, Kane name comes up. And so I felt like it was only right for me to FaceTime him so he could defend himself and say what he had to say. Y'all before I call him my friend. What? Before I call him my friend. Call him my friend. Call him my friend. No, I'm calling him out loud. Um, speaker? Oh, uh, Instagram. Hey, hey, oh, you don't Hey, friend, I can't see you. Turn your thing on. How are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. How are you doing? I miss you, friend. I'm here with all these shit. Let me see your phone. Ooh. So many. It's, it's not going to drop high five. It's not going to drop high five. That's right. You ain't can't do all this. Disrespect. Let me see the phone. Friend, you want to talk to him? Because I don't mean no shit. You want to talk to him? I don't remember Oh, okay. My so friend, okay. friend we got a drink. Spirit, so we good. You don't remember that. I'm like, I know we made up at Marquis. Where do you mean? Right? What's your name? Marquis. I put it up on the okay. top. So you tell me keep the bomb. Well, Kane, I, I hate that you're not here, Sugarfoot. Yes. He said the food good. I'm not lying. I've been checking on him all day. And I haven't talked about you not once. Oh, shit. I've been in a sad place. I wish I was there. I wish you was. We wish you was too. Come on, Good morning. Okay. We're gonna go do a good old swamp tour. I know you used to swamp booty, but we're gonna do a swamp tour. Well, let me ask the source. Where's my phone? Who the source? Who the source? I was about to call him. Tony Owens. Ooh. <laughs> get it how you get it. I don't. We've all been in the place. Does everybody know their number? What number? Everybody know their number. I've only had sex with 
Well, time out. They come alive. They come alive. No, I'm about to say, but I don't have sex. Just straight intercourse or everything. If you've ever had, yeah, sex. Like, what in any way. Meaning fucking <laughs> and <laughs> No, you can't go live, bitch. I don't know mine, but no. I know this Wait. year I've not but had five so like, Okay, so let's, okay, so put your hands up if you've had more than 10. This year? This year? Period. Ever. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. We in elementary school. Put your hand up. More than 20. In your lifetime? Yes. Yes. More than 30. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna lay to you. More than 40? No. Well, damn, Reese. Oh, you're gonna say that. So after we get done eating, you know, I done ate like three plates, and I'm like, Lord, me and this girdle. I mean, my waist trainer, I, I don't know, right? But, you know, we're like, hey, let's go out. I mean, we already like 45 minutes outside the city, so we got to already, we got to get on the road to get back in the city. It's time for us to go hit Bourbon Street and do the damn thing. <laughs> Hey girl, hey girl, hey! You are, you are, you are, you are. All right, somebody kick this shit. phone is dead. Your phone is Anthony, the fuck up like Christmas. But Anthony was talking to him first. So that's why I gave him Anthony number. And then I told him my name was Anthony too. And then he texted Anthony. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to text him right then. And so then he texts Anthony. Was I wrong for that? Yes. That was wrong. What happened? Did you ask for it? I didn't want to give him my <laughs> so you didn't want to give me your name while you give me your name? He coming? Oh, he <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Anthony. I'm gonna beat your ass. I will beat you. I'll beat him up for uh, blocking. Right. Like, this shit is wrong. Coming up on Chasing Dallas. So George just said that I said, are you going to make it by 12? He said, that's the plan, waiting on the car. I thought they got a rental. How your friend is right. a flight attendant? You ain't got no flight. Y'all drove, and then how the trunk then closed on your rental, but now you waiting on the Uber. The boy called me Anthony, so I had to play the role. Oh. No, no. I mean, it just made sense for me to give him your number. And then y'all blew it up and made it big, and then made the boy start feeling bad. You know what's wrong for that? You couldn't even supposed to be giving out people numbers? At all. That boy was really into you, too. My name is Imani Van Zack, and I'm here to help you fix your shit. Good evening to all of my babies. I have missed you. Well, this was another one of those exciting episodes where everyone was sitting around talking about nothing. But I must say that I was thankful for these discussions because Auntie learned a lot. The strongest this week is incidentally, George. I never thought I'd say it. Here we are. George, I have to say this. I appreciate you for once not coming with mess. I love the outing that you and Reese had in going to the radio station. And I know that I've been hard on you, my son, but I have to give it to you. Even in the moments where it was mentioned that you were shaded by King Kane, rightfully so, you did not take a dig back. And that must be recognized. I see growth in you, and I'm proud. The weakest this week is a tie. Tie? Oh my God. What do you mean tie? 
between Reese G and Trey Womack. Now listen, I had to break this one down. I wanted to take adequate time to make sure that we address all angles of the fight. All 1,335 angles of the fight. While it's being said very conveniently that the fight was not a setup, every camera was there set up. So while there is no solid proof, Reese G, AKA Reese O'Neal, you're under observation. In that same breath, I am finally driving the point home to the weakest in all of this, Trey Womack. Now listen, Auntie has caught a lot of blows because I have not held your feet to the fire just yet. Trey Daughter, regardless of what happened with anyone, you threw the first blow. At the end of the day, you should have exercised control. Once again, everyone in Dallas becomes stronger and better and go fix your shit. I'ma throw it back so you can hear it. It's so big, a lot of inch. He asked, can I handle it? You ain't fucking with no bitch. I'm gonna show you I'm legit. Man, I be fucking that motherfucker hard at me, bitch. We don't have time. Girl. You always late. I'm not late, it's girl. Still, it still look the same. Girl. Fuck you, bitch. You better be glad your motherfucking kit nope. sat real good in that head. So day two of Nola, um, Markel decided to come and pick me up instead of me having to Uber around or lift around. So he came to pick me up because he actually drove from Dallas to New Orleans. I could have did that. And you know, we're riding over to the Swamp Tour. I'm excited because I've never been on a Swamp Tour before and I've never seen an alligator in person. The only kind that I've seen have been on my bags and belts. So I wanna make sure that I see at least one or two gators. Cause you know, they're ornery. <laughs> Cause they have no medulla I forgot them. So why is Trey texting me talking about some, um, let me see how far it is. How y'all get in there? The car. He just ain't yet? Yeah. Why you keep chewing like that? Ooh. Cause it's going good. You straight from South Dakota Mall. Girl, you straight from Avondale Mall, bitch. Yeah, no, the fuck it ain't. Hello? Hi, yeah, we, um, Markel can't pick me up. So we have it there now. Um, did you get, did you look at the thing, get the address? Yeah, it's 26 minutes from me. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. So we should all get there on time because, child, they say this boat leave at 12 o'clock. Okay. Okay, well, if you missed the boat, then we didn't even hang up. If you, you know missed, what? he tried to hang up on you and couldn't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there. Let me get this back. Yeah. Bye. So George just said that, I said, are you gonna make it by 12? He said, that's the plan, waiting on the car. I thought they got a rental. How well, your friend, how your friend a flight attendant, you ain't got no flight, y'all drove, and then how the trunk then closed on your rental, but now you waiting on an Uber. Okay, it was him, Anthony, and the two other guys, Marquise, and uh, the other guy, but I think they drove, I think they're in the same hotel, but they're doing separate things. So George was cheap. George staying at his friend's hotel on the couch. He didn't want to take no flight because he couldn't afford it. I thought and he was trying to get better. What? Why are you having so shady? That's not shady. It's just all jokes and fun. <laughs> it's all fun. You should ask Carrie what's his ETA. Hey. You look hungover. How far are y'all? Okay. What are we gonna talk about in three minutes? Girl, I don't need help hanging up the phone. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be the same without having George. It literally Trey took them 12 minutes to get the car. At 11.41. You know my car. Trey, is. yeah, I ain't gonna make it. Okay, so carry them, okay, so carry them already ate. Carry them already ate. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe there's another activity that's around. Maybe we got chicken sandwich. sandwich. At this Popeye's. I mean, I'm just asking, girl. Probably. But what I'm saying is maybe there's an activity around here so that it'll pass by like that hour. Or two hour. Yeah. Because they're not going to make it. And I really want everybody to do it at one time.
two hours later. If I said I want We're here. If I said I need If you really got it, give it to me, please. Okay, so let's just talk about last night. Okay. What about it? It was a night that I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember kissing all on that boy? I didn't kiss anybody. Yes, she did. Okay, this time about me. You just opened the conversation. Hold on, let me see. You feel that feeling in my head? As soon as I got done, I saw how your lips started just like vibrating. Really? I apologize for giving your number out last night. <laughs> that was so well, what happened was, well, no, so the I boy, wanted, I don't know, I don't know if that was him or not, but the boy called awesome. me Anthony, so I had to play the role. <laughs> but no, no, I mean, it just made sense for me to give him your number. And then y'all blew it up and made it big, oh. and then made the boy start feeling bad. You was wrong for that. You couldn't. He was supposed to be giving out people numbers at all. That boy was really into you too. No, he, he, was into you. Into no, he wasn't into me. We just had conversation. No, he, he was had, into no, him. We got a conversation that we were, I lived in Dallas, and he said he was coming to Dallas, and he was looking at you. And he told you to come here. But when and he, I walked away. But he said he already had the A32 card. He said he, he walked away. No, he away. didn't have the A32 card. That, that's a Houston number card. I know. He said he so already had that card in his phone. So I was like, you had this. said it. Anyway, I just want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that makes a bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I mean, I am uh, planning my 31st birthday party. You all were invited. Yeah, last year, you know, you didn't even invite me to your birthday dinner last year. He didn't like you. It was on I know. people there. Yeah, I ain't like him either, but now we're we're getting there. Ain't that right, Paige? I don't even see, I don't know why people don't like me. No, you didn't Excuse like me? him. Vision when I hit the holly, working on that cause my mind is on an island. Told my babies I'll be homeless, so don't stay up. Breaks my heart to see them sad, so I won't wait up, need it all. All that's mine, I need it now. I lost my patience the same week, I lost my smile. My baby pressed me, said I'm acting like a child. I took some L's, can lie, that really brought me down. I'm so antisocial, but I guess it's type selective. Swear I'll make a change, but for now, I just can't help it. Only trusting God and these cars that I've been dealt with. I'ma do my job, time to grind, time to know. They know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know. So today we're taking a swamp tour and I'm low key excited. Oh my god, I get to see alligators. <laughs> George holding on like he on the pipe panic.
Me being the hostess with the mostess, this swamp tour is a little lack. One thing that happened that got me going, they started playing Tina Turner, rolling on the river. And so I had to get up and give them a prelude of what that good old Tina did. But overall, the swamp tour was okay. I mean, it was very swampy. They played Tina Turner, Proud Mary. So you know Reese had to get up and do a, do a little one, two, a little number. I'm proud, man. That's not how the song goes. Um, excuse me, I'll be back. <laughs> all in all, I think this trip to New Orleans was cool. I'm not a big drinker because I'm a lightweight, so I think that I can just wait to go back to New Orleans. But I think that the trip was good. I really wish Ariel was on this trip and Kane. I think me. Kane and Ariel could have really hung out separate from the group and really enjoyed each other just because, but maybe we can plan another trip or something. Next time on Chasing Dallas. Yeah, like, I do shit alone. Like, I don't fuck with nobody. I don't want nobody fucking with me. I have Reese G in a beautiful Ariel tonight joining me on the carpet, looking absolutely amazing. But just know, like, I don't intentionally start shit, but I'm gonna finish it. Like, you're not gonna pick at me and not expect me to retaliate. Supposedly, I was going around saying that oh, Dior didn't do hair when when I was wearing my unit. Who used to do my hair, brother? Dior. Like he was breaking. No, I was gonna say because y'all used to be y'all used to be really tight back in the day. Exactly. Still, Still to come on this day. The only reason that you're here, the only reason yeah. you can walk around this city and not get your yeah. ass beat. Cause you keep burning bridges with people, it's because of me, ho. You asked him for his number to see if he was single. You knew he was already with you. Who the fuck I asked? But for your I, I was the only bitch that held you down when you moved here, bitch. I was the only bitch who held you down, ho. I was the only bitch. And you talked about me like a motherfucking, like a motherfucking bitch.